was our pole sitter, uh, happened to be right behind our overall leader when they were picked up by the safety car. So uh, Jim Devonport's going to have to find his way around uh, around Slusher's uh, car uh, in order to uh, take up the battle with, All right, uh, with well, Osborne for the overall. We got a green flag. That was quick. All right. And it is still J.R. Osborne in the lead. Jim Devonport showing second across the line. We, we 
are not in Oregon. We are in the state of confusion. Yes, uh, I am. I don't know about you. I think no. you are in Oregon. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing fine. All right. So uh, looks like they have gotten that car uh, off the track, Mike. And uh, we'll have to watch uh, watch to see if we have. Uh, well, let's see. We still have uh, waving yellow flag. Uh, over heading into the chicane and actually do see the record still out on the track surface. So we'll have to see if they go back to green flag race. Oh, wait a minute. I, I bet you were going to have probably one more lap. I'm thinking there's two cars involved here. <laughs> because they just dropped yeah. Lowe's car off behind the Armco barrier and he went right back out. So that if there's a second car, it is right behind the trees and I can't see it. Yeah, and I, I can't pick it up either because it appears to be right behind one of the emergency vehicles uh, that is over there. It looks like just past the, uh, the flag station yep. uh, at the entrance to turn one. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't see it from here. So uh, it looks like we're not ready to go back to green flag racing. <laughs> and it is, I can see just the top of it now. In fact, I think it's a, either a P1 or a P2 car, actually. Looks like the 21, maybe. And they are continuing, the safety cars continuing to lead the field uh, past the chicane down the, uh, down the long front street here uh, towards turn number four as the clock continues to run. And we now have about seven minutes uh, or eight laps to go uh, in this race. Our leader, J.R. Osborne, leading uh, Formula B in his Furman F100, Jim Devonport, uh, second overall in his P1, Norma. get in there first. It is a 27 car of Chip Romer. Uh, so there we go. So we had two cars down there, not just one. That's why they closed the chicane. All right, so let's go. While well, we've got a little bit of time here, uh, we'll give a quick rundown by class. Of course, in Formula B, uh, your leader is... Uh, your leader is J.R. Osborne, Larry Bollum runs second, Brian Snyder runs third, Kevin Rogelbach fourth. Uh, in FB2, Tom Burt actually is still running. Uh, well, he's your leader in only car. In P1, Jim Devonport, your leader, Miles Jackson second, Johnny Green third, Aaron Paley running in fourth. In Continental, Robert Armington, your leader, Mitch Eichner second, Russ Warner third, Robert Yellen, uh, well, his day is done. Uh, he was running fourth in Formula Atlantic, and that's a combination of the FAs and F4 cars. John Purcell, your leader. Jay Horak, second. Reese Dykstra, third. Sean Freewood, fourth. Scott Huffaker, fourth. And Colin McQuinney, fifth. Uh, P2, Tim Day, Jr., your winner. Dust, uh, your leader, Dustin Decker, finish is, Harvey is currently running second. And Formula Mazda, Bill Weaver, your leader. Bill Weaver, your leader. Stu Tabak, second. Brad Drew, third. Bruce Semler in fourth. Mike, our uh, safety car should be coming around turn 12. Let's see if we get the start. Now, we're not going to get the start because there's a third car out there that they're just now picking up. Thanks to Mr. Jim Llewellyn, who walked in and said there's three of them out there. I'm tending to believe when looking at here that it's Chip Romer in 28th, Kyle Lowe in 30th. I'm guessing in 29th spot is the 12 car of Kevin Roganbuck, who is now being pulled in. I will bet on that one. And there seems to be some damage to the front of this car. Got from tires sideways. Once they bring the uh, truck around for here, I'll be able to get a car number four. That is the 12. So there you go, Kevin Rogan. Three car incident here going into the chicane between turn one and turn two. Uh, damage on all the cars. Uh, looks like Rogamuck got the uh, bad end of his stick there. The front end looks pretty much back in. But, uh, or at least I should say just a, a bent tire, so it may not be too bad. But three cars out here as attrition is the name of the game this afternoon. And, uh, Greg, uh, I'd say maybe this time around we may be going back. Well, well, well I've already gotten word from race control, Mike, as the safety car is leading our uh, our first place runner, Osborne, through to turn seven onto the back straight. What they're going to do is they are going to reopen the chicane, which they just and, did, which they just did, and the safety car is going to lead our racers. 
through the chicane for one lap, and then they will go green flag racing. Now remember, right. we only have a bit under four minutes to go in yeah. this race. So doing that is going to give these racers maybe one, maybe two laps of green flag racing before that checkered flag comes out. Attention in the pit paddock, attention in the pit paddock. Race group number four, Spec Miata, E Production, F Production, H Production, GT Light, B Spec. This is your second call to the grid. Race group four, second call to the grid. All right, so our safety car now, Mike, should be uh, down around turns 10, 11, and 12, bringing our uh, leader, J.R. Osborne, back onto the front straight. And they are on the front right. straight now. All right, so uh, with now just a couple ticks over, three minutes left to go in this race, uh, safety car is bringing them down the front straight. We'll bring them through the chicane, essentially to show them that the chicane is, is open. open. Uh, and then we will go back to green flag racing and, uh, you know, give it the amount of time left. We get one, maybe two laps of green flag racing uh, left here and then green flag. Ryan McKelvey, 8th. Alexander Cornfield finishes in ninth. 
in Formula Continental. Robert Armington was your winner. Mitch Egner finishes in second. Russ Warner third. Robert Yellen only finishes in eight. Finishes eight laps. He finishes fourth in Formula Enterprises two. Tom Burton was your winner, having completed 20 laps. And again, my apologies. I thought he was one of our cars involved in that incident. Obviously wasn't. In Formula B, your overall winner, J.R. Osborne in his Furman F1000, Larry Baum second in his Phoenix, Brian Snyder third in his Furman, Kevin Rogebuck fourth in his Furman, finishing sixth in Formula B, James Blackwell in his edge, however, Blackwell only completed nine laps. Then let's move up to for, uh, P2, Tim Day Jr. was your winner, Dustin Decker uh, finishes second uh, in his AMAC, and your Winner in Formula Mazda, finally, Bill Weaver. Stu Tabak finishes second. Brad Drew finishes third. Bruce Semler finishes a lap down in fourth. So, Mike, that is your rundown of this caution-filled uh, Formula Car race. All right, and taking the checkered flag was that Dodge Neon. So, <laughs> give him one of those checkered flags, and he can do a victory lap around here. But uh, anyway, congratulations to... Uh, J.R. Osborne there is the race winner overall, and it was uh, he had a hell of a lead on Devin Court, unless it was uh, a caution like this. So back to race, and I don't think Devin Court would have ever had a chance to catch him. All right, so we get ready now for race number four, which is Sexy Odyssey production after production, stage production, GT Light, and he's going to be going out to the race. And it looks like we have pretty much of a full field here. And we have about eight minutes until that race starts. So we're going to take a break here. You're listening to the 2018 Hoosier Racing Tire SCCA Super Tour on SCCA.com front slash live. 100.5 here on the track. And as always, with the Super Tour on the Performance Motorsports Network. The Hoosier Racing Tire SCCA Super Tour is brought to you by... Hoosier Racing Tire is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the Hoosier Racing Tire SCCA Super Tour. Hoosier's mission is to be the dominant customer-driven provider of racing tires to racing teams domestically and internationally. Realizing Hoosier's existence and continued success is dependent upon how well we meet our customers' expectations by providing the safest, most reliable, high-quality race tires that put you in the winner's circle. For more information, see one of our trackside support personnel or the local Hoosier racing tire dealer nearest you, or contact us at HoosierTire.com. Who's your racing tires? Truly tires designed for champions. Coming to a race course near you. SCCA Track Night in America. Driven by Tire Rack is a non-competitive, easy, fun, and inexpensive way for nearly anyone who loves cars or motorsports to get on a race circuit in their own vehicle. The cost is usually only $150 per event for three 20-minute on-course sessions and no previous on-track experience or SCCA membership is required. Learn more at tracknightinamerica.com. For more than 40 years, Mobile One has been the brand of champion. Mobile One, the world's leading synthetic motor oil, has powered the dreams of professional racers and the hopes of amateur racers everywhere. As the official motor oil of SCCA, Mobile One is proud to support SCCA racers with an exclusive members-only discount on Mobile One products at mobileoneracingstore.com using promo code SCCA1. Now, with Mobile One Racing Oils, racers can utilize the race-proven technology of Mobile One to maximize horsepower and protection in a wide range of race engine applications. Mobile One Racing Oils are race-proven by champions. Is your name next? Brought to you by Chevrolet. Connect with Team Chevy on social media. Like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Team Chevy. Check out our photos on Instagram at Team Chevy. Follow us on Twitter at Team Chevy. And add Team Chevy into your Google Plus circles. Plaza Vineyards is the exclusive sparkling wine for podium celebrations at the Hoosier Racing Tire SCCA Super Tour, SCCA Runoffs, and Tire Rack Pro Solo. Celebrate your racing weekend with Mazza Vineyards and learn more at www.enjoymazza.com. For 125 years, Sunoco has been fueling victories on and off the track, which is why Sunoco is trusted to fuel over 50 series of racing, driving, and winning, including the SCCA National Championship runoffs, SCCA 